Okay. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are going to do one of my most highly requested videos and also one of the most fun videos for me to film. I'm going to be ranking all of my Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palettes from least to most favorite. I have 20 palettes, so if you are interested in seeing what comes out on top, then just keep watching. All right, so let me get this info out of the way. Of course, all of my rankings of videos are inspired by my friend Kelsey Brianna J here on YouTube. She is the first person to do these ranking videos that everybody does, just need y'all to know, so make sure you go check her channel out. I do have a whole series where I rank palettes, and if you don't know, these are some of the videos that I take the most serious. A lot of research and work goes into them. I've spent the last three or so months testing out these palettes thoroughly just to make sure I can give you the most accurate information possible. This is important to me because, of course, Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows are quite pricey, so I want to make sure that if you are looking to purchase and invest in some, that I can give you the most accurate thoughts possible to help you make your decision. I did just post yesterday a whole tutorial compilation of me doing looks with 14 of these quads, actually, so if you want an even deeper dive into what the palettes will look like on the eyes, make sure you go check that video out. I have time timestamps and everything in the video if there's just specific palettes that you wanted to take a look at. So all of the looks that I'm showing you today in this video, the full tutorial is on that video. Also something that I feel like could really help you out that I did just happen to see yesterday, Charlotte Tilbury's website, they are doing a gift with purchase. So if you spend $100, you actually get this free mini darlings eye palette. I don't personally own this one, but I mean, this is very typical Charlotte Tilbury colors. I think it's a great introduction to her shadows. I think that's a really awesome gift with purchase that caught my eye so I wanted to share that with you and if you're looking for anything else in the Charlotte Tilbury line I also have a full in-depth overview of the entire Charlotte Tilbury makeup collection. I go for pretty much every product that she has in her line. So that one also took me a lot of time. So I will link that down below in case you're interested in everything else that her line has to offer. I tried to get through that as quick as possible. I don't think I did a very good job, but let's start off with number 20, my least favorite palette from Charlotte Tilbury. And this is the Supersonic Girl Luxury Palette of Pops. If you don't know, Charlotte Tilbury in her line, she has a pop formula. And basically it's a glittery lid topper kind of formula. I I'm not the biggest fan of it. There are a few shades that I really like that she has in her line, but I personally find the formula not good enough to buy a whole quad of this. I mean, her quads, as you guys know, they are quite pricey, and if you actually do the price per gram, her eyeshadows end up being more pricey than Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath, so that is why it is imperative that you pick up a palette that you actually know you're going to love, and I just don't like her pop formula. I really tried. I find that as I wear them throughout the day, it just ends up on my face. The fallout is unbelievable. You need to use a glitter glue, and for this price, I just don't think it's worth it. I think that the formula itself doesn't have enough pigmentation. They all kind of give that same glittery lid finish, which is fine, but they don't differentiate from one another enough for my taste to justify paying all of this money for this, to have just a palette of all of this formula. It's just not good enough. And like I said, they're pretty as lid toppers on the eye, but I don't think it's worth spending all of your money on an entire quad. And that is why number 19, same deal here. This is the Pillow Talk Luxury Palette of Pops. I picked this up because Pillow Talk is so iconic to Charlotte Tilbury that I just wanted to have her whole line. So I did pick this up. Same deal with the Supersonic Girl. I just don't love her pop formula enough to really justify this. And I'll use this from time to time. I'll pop a little bit of the glitter on top. I mean, that's about it. I don't get much else out of it. I just don't really think it's worth it. I think the one pop shade in each of her regular quads is just fine. You don't need to add this on. This one is a little bit better than Supersonic Girl, and I just generally like the colors in here more, which is why it ranks above Supersonic Girl. But definitely her palette of pops, for me, they just aren't the highlight of her brand. Number 18, this is the Vintage Vamp. This one I purchased from the most recent Sephora VIB sale, which by the way, how I justify buying these palettes is I usually pick them up during the Sephora VIB sale. So of all the Sephora VIB sales that have happened, I do pick up like one or two every sale because the clones are really expensive. So I always try 
try to get at least a deal with them, a gift with purchase, something. Vintage Vamp is definitely the quad that I've been most disappointed by that's in her regular luxury non-palette of pops formula. I find that it's patchy, the formulation's a little bit drier, it just doesn't impress me, the price is way too much for the quality that you're getting. This is one that I definitely think is bad quality. I mean, you can see in my tutorial on this, I did struggle with patchiness. I've always felt like it looked really splotchy on the eye. It's just too expensive for what it is. I don't really like the color story here either. I feel like I don't care to create a look using all four. Just for me, this one doesn't do it for me. I don't really recommend it. I don't think it's worth it. And I think that she has so much better palettes to offer. And this one isn't one of them. A lot of you guys said you love the looks whenever I wear this. And I'm not saying it doesn't create a pretty look but it's a struggle to get there. Next we have the Glamour Muse and a lot of you guys have been eyeing it. I did notice that this is going to be discontinued. It's already discontinued from her website but you can get it at Nordstrom so if you do want to pick it up I linked it to Nordstrom down below before those run out because I'm going to assume since it's discontinued once they're gone they're gone and I know a lot of you are surprised that this is ranking at number 17 so low. It's a, not a bad quad at all. I just think that the star of the show is the purple and by far the most disappointing shade in this quad is the purple. It's very, very sheer and I absolutely love the look I came up with, but you can see in the tutorial, it gets a little clumpy. This doesn't have a lot of payoff and it is that pop formula. I use the brush wet to kind of work it out more, but I feel like if this is going to be the pop of color, it needs to be a pop, not really sheer. And I just... It, this took a lot of work, so that was kind of disappointing for me. I think overall, though, it's a nice palette, and if you're looking for a wearable kind of purple palette, this is a good choice because I do struggle with this color, and because of the price that it is, that's why it's ranking where it's ranking. So just be prepared that this purple isn't all that amazing, but if you are eyeing it, it is getting discontinued, so pick it up if you would like. I don't think it's bad, and I actually really love these three colors a lot. It's just I bought this for the purple shade, and that's what I was most disappointed by. Number 16. This one, again, you're gonna have to run if you would like it. This is super blue. This is from one of her newest collections that just came out. And from here on, I pretty much love all of these palettes. I think all of them are amazing. And it's more so coming down to color preference and how often I use the palettes to kind of put them where they are ranked. But from this point on, formulation, everything, top-notch. Definitely don't have too much bad to say about these. This one is ranking where it's ranking simply because it's blue and I feel like sometimes blue makes me look washed out so I'm not as inclined to reach for it but the quality on this is amazing. The looks you can get are stunning especially with this launch in particular. All of the quads that came out, her formula went from here to through the roof. A lot of you guys were eyeing this, I noticed on the tutorial video that I posted today. So if you want it, it's out of stock on her website. It is available on the Nordstrom website. I put all of the applicable links down below next to the palette name so that you can get it because I'm really worried this is gonna sell out and you're not gonna be able to find it. Nordstrom was the only store that I was able to find it available. So many people want this because it's a truly good blue palette that is made wearable. The thing that Charlotte Tilbury does that's very special is how wearable she makes her colors. and this does nothing short of that. I really enjoy this palette. I love the really deep blue navy smoky glittery eye that I get with this. Absolutely gorgeous and I love this taupe shade a lot. So this one is very nice. It's just ranking where it's ranking due to the fact that it's blue and blue isn't my go-to color. Number 15, unfortunately this one is discontinued. You can't find it anywhere but this is Dreamgasm and this is where we're getting into that kind of typical Charlotte Tilbury eye. In my opinion the Charlotte Tilbury eye is basically skin tone with a glowy finish and this really gives you that. This one, even though it's discontinued, I don't really find that to be a big deal because it looks like a lot of her other quads, in my opinion, Exaggerize and Pillow Talk. This gives a very similar ethereal finish. It's really gorgeous. I really like this one. It's easy to reach for. It's just that it kind of looks like a lot of her other ones, so it's not special in her line, but it gives that Charlotte Tilbury look, which I really enjoy. And this next one will probably surprise you, number 14. This is the original classic kind of Pillow Talk quad. And I mean, I love it. Again, it gives a very similar Charlotte Tilbury a glowy eye. It definitely is a little bit more pinky coral compared to the Dreamgasm. I think it is a bit overrated. I will admit that. I find that these colors, they look so beautiful, soft, and pink in the palette itself, but then when I put them on the eyes, I feel like the color pulls very orange on me, which is not a bad thing. I think it is still gorgeous, but that is the one thing that kind of disappointed me on this. I just find it to be a bit overrated. It's really gorgeous. It's very popular for a reason. 
skin. I think it's going to look best on fair skin tones. It's just a soft palette and I do like it a lot. It's nothing special and I think it's a bit overrated, but it's popular. So number 13, we have Exaggerize. And this one is a more, I would say, cooler version of Pillow Talk. You get that same kind of eye as the others. But I like this one a bit more because I do prefer those more cooler tones. I don't get too much payoff from this one, which I'm okay with because it's about a very light, glowy, glimmery kind of finish. I don't need too much pigmentation from this. I like this. I think this is very much a good representation of that Charlotte Tilbury eye. It's just a nice one. It's easy to reach for. You don't have to think about the look. Number 12, we have Copper Charge. This is that same release as Super Blue. So just know if you love these colors, I definitely highly recommend this one because you are getting the best of the best Charlotte Tilbury formula. They are so buttery smooth. Even her pop formula, in my opinion, definitely got a lot better than what was in those palette of pops. If you like coppery, orange, warm shades, you will really love this. I'm not even that into warm tones and this makes me love warm tones. The look that I created, you will see in the tutorial, it was so effortless, so easy, and it just looked bomb. This is a great palette. It's ranking more so in the middle because it is more warm tones, so I'm not as inclined to grab for it on a daily basis, but just know it is phenomenal. Number 11 is quite the opposite as Copper Charge. This is Uptown Girl. So this is cool tone lover's dream. Now even though I say I love cool tones, I more so prefer like cooler browns on the eye. This reaches a bit too cool for me but the quality on this is really great. I absolutely love the looks that I get from this one. This one is gorgeous. If you love really cool gray tones, this would be my number one recommendation for you. I just think it's the best. It's a beautiful formula and your eyes look incredible when you wear this. It's just on a daily basis. I don't grab for grays or silvers very often, so that is why this is ranking where it is, but the quality on this spectacular. The eye looks you get are really, really great. And the pop shade in here, a phenomenal shade. I really love these two shades a lot. A lot of times I'll mix this with different quads and then I'll steal these two, but the grays are really nice as well. I just don't grab for those as often, but highly recommend this one if you're into grays. It's a good one. Number 10, this one I am so excited is still available. I for sure thought this would be discontinued by now because it came out a while ago and I believe it was supposed to be limited edition. And this is the Icon palette. And this is the palette that I actually recommend to most beginners into Charlotte Tilbury because this is the best value. The formulation in here, I'm not gonna lie, it is a bit different than what is in her regular line, but the formulation still kills it. It's better than some of her older luxury quads, if you ask me. And it reminds me of that Natasha Denona wet to powder formulation. It has that kind of same finish. It blends like a dream. The shimmers are very, very creamy. Even though this formula I do notice is a bit different, it doesn't mean it's lesser than. It's still just as good as her higher quality one. And just the price per gram, this is by far the best value in her line. I don't know why or how that happened, but beginner, on a budget, <laughs> I mean, you can't really be on a budget if you're buying Charlotte Tilbury, but this is the best value and you also get the best range of colors. So this was the winner today for <laughs> what I am wearing. I used this green and then I mixed these two colors as well and popped a little bit of this gold in the center of my lid. Now, keep in mind, I know when you look at these, you get excited because of the colors. She made these more like wearable pops of colors. So even you can see right here, the green is not as vibrant as it looks. It's still stunning, but it's a more wearable, smoky kind of green. Anyways, I love this because of all the different colors and tones. And this I actually find is close to a lot of the other quads. So you're really getting a lot of similar colors that's already in her range with this. The quality is really nice and I just think this palette deserves so much more hype. I'm very excited to see that it's still in her line. I mean, why is this ranking number 10? It's just how it falls. I just don't grab for it as much, but this palette really does excite me and I do highly recommend it. I was so excited to be wearing this one today. Number nine is the Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette. This is her newest larger palette and I always recommend go for her larger palettes if you're very turned off by the price of her quads because the formulations in these bigger 
bigger palettes, I felt like were always a little bit better than in her quads, which is crazy because these are a better value. I think with her newest quad launches, she did step the formula up to where the quads are now even with these guys. But again, these are always a great place to start. Now this one I don't necessarily recommend to everybody. You have to like these tones. The only kind of downside to this is no matter what look you do, I feel like it kind of looks the same. You can only do so many looks with this palette, but it's ranking so high for me just because I love the look that this creates. I love the colors here, the formulas, buttery, creamy, smooth, all of that good stuff. If this isn't your color story, I wouldn't get it. If this is your color story, I mean, go for it. I love this color story. I will say the colors, like here especially, you thought they would be more brown. They do pull more warm. Her shadows do that, and that's very weird. The Pillow Talk, the original Pillow Talk quad, that pulls warm. This pulls warm. I don't necessarily love that. something that I noticed, but I do love this palette. I reach for it quite a lot, and I have a lot of different looks on my channel of me using this. So for sheer amount of times I've used it is why... I'm putting this where it is. Number eight is Stars in Your Eyes palette. This is currently unavailable. It came out almost two, three years ago. And I really like this because the colors pull a little bit more purple, which is more in my everyday kind of color story. So for me, this is ranking where it's ranking just by the fact that I feel very comfortable reaching for this. I don't think the formulation in this is as good as her newer formulations. It's still incredible. It's still buttery, smooth. She just, you know, she notched it up. But I just love the color story here. I don't want to talk about this too much because you can't get it anymore, but this one holds a special place in my heart. Number seven is mesmerizing maroon <sighs> even though it's called a maroon quad it really it's more plummy to me they have a maroon color in here but on my eyes and on my skin tone this pulls more plum and I do not prefer it any other way of the tutorials that I did with these quads this one actually was one of my favorite looks by far one of the best in her formula I feel like this color story is actually kind of unique from the rest of her quads as well so this one stands out in her line it is more special and if you have brown eyes, this one is really going to make your eyes pop. I love this one. Highly recommend if you're into this color story. Number six, also from that collection as Mesmerizing Maroon, is Green Lights. This one used to be called The Rebel, though I will say, she said this is the same as The Rebel, but I looked online, The Rebel looked more blue and teal, no? Anyways, I've never owned The Rebel, so I can't speak for that. But anyways, green lights, you guys know I love. I have this thing for green eyeshadows, and I love that this is green and gold because I don't think there is a better combination. And this is one of my most used quads from her. Every time I think I want to do a respectably wearable green eye, this is what I go for. So I reach for this one a ton, and if you like greens, I would definitely go with this one in her line. It's an incredible formula. It makes wearing green easy and approachable. And I also recommend you buy the corresponding duo liner with this. That look is just scrumptious. Number five is the newest one that I own from her. And this makes me want to buy the Sophisticate, which is a cooler matte palette. Because this is her newest one that came out. This is Desert Haze. And it's an all matte palette. Something about this matte formula pushed this pretty much all the way to the top of this ranking. These are some of the most buttery, smooth, and creamy mattes I have ever dealt with. And this makes me love matte looks. Every time I put Put this on I don't even want to put a shimmer on because I feel like this standalone is so gorgeous just know that this is going to pull a little bit more deep than it would seem so I think this is especially beautiful for medium to deeper skin tones as well but pigmented buttery smooth does the work for you maybe not necessarily the most exciting palette to look at but once you put it on your eyes you'll love it as well. I think it's an amazing quad. And this is also great because you can pair it with all of her other quads since it is all matte and most of hers are basically all shimmer. This is a really nice way to cut into those shimmers. Number four is the Bella Sophia. And this one, okay, it's not that amazing super smooth formula that I've been talking about. It's still a really good formula, but I think this is her older formula. But I just love the look that this creates. If you like those golden bronze goddess kind of looks this is amazing so every time I wear this 
I'm absolutely in love with my makeup. I especially love this pop shade right here. This is a very special pop shade. I don't know, if you just like the look that I posted, you will like this palette. Again, one of my most used palettes from her. I think it is so beautiful, so wearable. I'm very comfortable with this color story. So if you're more into neutral looks, I would highly recommend this one. I think it's stunning. Number three, again, surprise, this is still available. So I would jump on it if you are thinking about it. This is the Starry Eyes it's Hypnotize. It's an older palette. Well, it's not even actually. It came out during the holidays this year. But what I like about this one specifically is you really do truly get four looks. So you know how I was complaining about the pillow talk and how they were all kind of the same color? This really, like, you get a smoky eye, a green eye, a more maroon eye, and then a more just neutral brown eye, golden eye. So this I love for the options that you get. So if you're looking for something where you can get the best out of Charlotte Tilbury's collection, the most variety while also having having her formula. I do recommend this one. It's a really nice, buttery, smooth, creamy, shimmery, gorgeous formula. The same words I used to describe all of these other ones. This one's really great. I just love the variety that you can get in this. And this one I felt like at the time contained a lot of colors that didn't exist in her line. I will say now that she came out with green lights and mesmerizing maroon, you do have some similarities in the quads, but if you don't have really much from her line, this is a great way to start. Number two, this one one was fighting for first place. I actually had this in first place for a long time because it's the quad that I feel the most comfortable using every day. This is my ideal everyday eye look. This is the Golden Goddess and I actually saw on the website for Charlotte Tilbury this is limited stock but if you like cooler toned neutral browns this is what I'm talking about. It looks so boring from the swatch, but on the eyes, this is everything I want in an everyday look. So if you were curious about my ideal everyday makeup look, this is what it is. I really don't know what else to say because this is me embodied in an eye quad. I love finishing it off with the pop shade to add that little tiny hint of glitter, but not obnoxiously so, and then just staying more cool and neutral tone. I love this one. This one's one of her best. So if you're like me and you like those more neutral brown kind of eyes with a little bit of glimmer that are still soft, not dramatic, love this. And last one. <sighs> This is number one, and I don't think I've ever talked about this on my channel because this one really crept in here. Just one day I used it and I was like, oh, wait, this is the best quad from Charlotte I've ever used. So this is the Queen of Glow. It's so good, you guys. First of all, you're getting a top notch formula. The matte brown in here is one of the most incredible matte browns I have ever used. It's so pigmented and so blendable. It is a medium to deeper complexion friendly quad as well. I find I have to go really light handed with this because otherwise I have like a very dramatic smoky eye. And just the way with these top two shimmers how you effortlessly need to apply just a little bit and then you already have such a strong glow on your eyes and you have an option to go lighter here. You have an option to go more gold in here and then you also have a nice little copper glitter pop to add. This isn't my favorite pop shade from her but these other three are just so good, so go-to, so wearable and approachable that that is okay. I... I need to take a moment because I love it so much and it's just the best. <laughs> so... We did it. We got there. I ranked all of my Charlotte Tilbury palettes and I do want to talk about my opinions on whether or not they are worth it because that is a very big debate and I will be completely honest. If I wasn't blessed to have the platform that I do and the money that I am able to earn from YouTube to purchase these for you guys for videos like this, I most definitely would not have the collection that I have. Value-wise, I mean, they are more expensive than Tom Ford, Natasha Denona, and Pat McGrath. Like, that should say a lot. And I think if you are tight on a budget, there is no need to purchase any of her quads in particular. Now, I do love her formula, and I think if I didn't have a channel, I most definitely would be on board with her big palettes because the formula is really special. Now, it does take a special kind of eye to see it. Not everybody's going to see it, which is okay. Like, you can get so many gorgeous looks with many other formulas, 
does. So when you use Charlotte Tilbury, you may not be that impressed. And I can totally see somebody not being impressed. But again, for me, who looks really deep into formulations, looks very hard into my makeup, I am very judgmental, of course, of makeup. I do see what is special about her shadows. I don't think her shadows are worth having every single palette from, if I'm being realistic here. But I do think having one or two or just a few palettes, if you can appreciate the formula, is worth it. But don't go bankrupt over buying her formula because it's not it's not that great. But I do love her line and I do think she definitely has some gems and for the most part I think you're getting a good quality every time that you purchase. So that is all I have for today's rankings video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your favorite palettes from her down below. Yeah, I don't know what brand should I do next. I was thinking ColourPop. I don't have a ton of ColourPop palettes and a lot of mine at this point are probably discontinued from their line. So I think I'll do like a quickie, not like this one where I spent three months testing these out, I am thinking of just quickly just ranking them without worrying too much about creating looks and all of that. Okay, <laughs> anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I hope you would consider taking the time to do so, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.